Hello once again. Welcome back to Mori. It's been a good while since I actually played this game last, and um, I'm gonna be doing a quick short summary of what we did last time. I, I think that last time we were going to the ladder, that means we explored all of the vast forest and we're about to go somewhere else, which I hope is even more interesting than what we've had so far. Not saying that it's not interesting, just saying that I'm hoping there's even more than I'm expecting. Ah, good old Amori. Yeah, I have a picnic. Do you think Basil's okay? I feel like maybe we should be more worried. Hmm. His disappearance is concerning, but it won't help anyone to get worked up over it. Basil is really trusting. He'll believe anything anyone says. What if someone tricked him into something? Or maybe he's fallen into a trap. Calm down, Aubrey. I'm sure we'll find him. I know. Why don't you all ha water his flowers while he's away? I'm sure he'll be super thankful once he's back. <laughs> Aw, Aubrey, come on. I don't like it when you cry. Cheer up. Cheer up on the outs- uh, Cheer up. On the outside, Basil may seem really soft, but he's actually pretty strong on the inside. Basil can take care of himself. You should believe in him a little more. Well, when you put it that way... Okay, I'll try to believe in Basil. Thanks, Kel. And don't smile at me, it's creepy. You're creepy. Hmm. I should go check on the flowers once more before I go, I guess. Alright, this was the run button. It's really weird to have the run button on two similar games, like One Shot and uh, Omori on different buttons. Because I keep forgetting which is which. Nothing. Yeah, we need to flower. Th I don't even need to water there. Not there, either. A flower? A flower? Uh, yeah, that's, that's flower. The other ones aren't. So, what was the what was with the big tree? I still don't get that. I see I got more views than the other videos, so I'm assuming other people are also quite curious as to what the big tree is. Right, let's uh, let's go straight to uh, anything new in the mirror. No, okay. What was this? Oh, Pluto. Right. This way, right? Yeah. What's up with that mushroom? I feel like I feel like it's different from the others, and you could reach that place. Is that just me? I feel like mu that mushroom is not the same as every other thing in the environment. What's up with that? I feel like it. Huh. Oh, there's mushrooms here. Never mind. Remember what Mori said, Omori. Mori said, Omori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry. We'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right there here right here to catch you. Cal, don't scare him. You won't fall, Amori. I promise. Uh oh. You're no longer afraid of heights. Man, I know there's a reason why we never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well, here goes nothing. The music in this game is outstanding. I feel like I'll play, praise it just as much as I praised Hades with its music, which was also amazing. Wait, hold up guys. Shoot, where is he? I just had him. Where's who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No, Hector. He must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. He's family. 
Don't worry, I'm sure he'll be he'll, he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I sure, I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. What if he fell upwards? No, that's that's uh, a bit ridiculous. What's up with that? S what a thrill! Oh, hey, Snake. I really like this. That's a lot of items, are they? Where are we? Are we on Pluto? First. We're on the moon. Hey, hero. <sighs> the ladder. It just... Never ends. Ha! <laughs> That's one st small step for Kel, and one large step for Kelkind. It's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my but certific certificate? Take that thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way, look at this thing fluttering in the wind. So majestic. So beautiful. Hero, do something. Ugh. One sec. Just, uh, catching my breath. Actually, give me a minute. Never mind. I do want to see that frag, though. Aubrey's butt certificate. So majestic. So beautiful. Yeah, I agree. Otherworld campsites. Cattail field. Let's go to Cattail field. That sounds nice. Shoot. I know I left my donut somewhere around here. We gotta find a donut, don't we? Ah, oh, goddammit. I guess we're going to... I don't remember what this is. But it looks nice. Otherworld. That's a... Uh, Pluto at the top, I saw that. There's Pluto... I literally see him. Another mirror. These aren't there for any, for no reason. I'm gonna check this one again multiple times, just just in case. They they're not there for no reason. They're, they're just here. A floating mirror. It's the same thing as last time. I don't get it. Why though? Why have just a mirror with no reason? That's that's my point. Like what? Oh hey shopkeep. Um you have a lot of more things. Life jam. Uh-huh. Sparkler inflicts happy. Uh-huh. Alright. S'mores. Hmm. Cherry soda. Oh, but not smoothie. Window shoppers, right here. Yeah. Welcome to Otherworld, an unofficial pit, pit stop for weary space travelers and popular family friendly camping ground. Ah, uh, don't you just love the smell of firewood and the sound of running water and the crisp space breeze? It all makes a very vast emptiness. It makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? I do think so. What are those? Lovely space tube food. Would you like to eat some? Yeah, sure. You and your friends feel like new. Hi, Mori. Cliff-faced as usual, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see if Hector is... Yeah, he Hector is a quest. Alright. Daisy's Dilemma. Oh, that one. Huh. Alright. Well, um... I'll be going... This way for now? What's up with you? It's at times like these that I'm reminded that our universe is so beautiful. Gumbo. Happy! So many humans today. You guys are really they're always such a big fans of space travel. Zarf. I like his name. I like his name. A vending machine. I have tasty soda for a hundred- That's a hundred clams, my god. You think I'm rich or something? Transportation. I'm gonna be able to like quick travel with those because I feel like that's what it's leading up to. 
This mirror still bothers me. Like, it really does. I can't put my finger on why, but it, it just... Why would you have a mirror with nothing about... Hey, Pluto. This guy looks pretty intimidating. You want to disturb him? No. Actually, hmm. I should save before I disturb him, right? Yeah, save. This one. Let's try and beat Pluto. Yep, it's Pluto. Right arm, left arm. What? I wonder how much HP it has. Hmm. Hit rate. Angry. Uh-oh. Strike suppose. Oh, it does have a lot of HP. My god. I have all hero cooks. For him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He he cooks for a lot of HP. Wow. Strikes a pose. Cook once again. This time for well, no, no, that actually don't Just snack him. There we go. It should be dead. Yeah. Hoax him. Huh. Attack as well, because you're angry now, and it's, you should do more damage. Yeah, there we go, a lot of damage. It should be dead soon enough. happy annoy yeah there we go should make him annoyed or angry at this oh man I, I love the art for every single kind of like emotion I love the idea of having him like a different art for every single kind of emotion He's like, he's happy again. Well, at least, at least it keeps him occupied, you know? And plus, he takes more damage from this. Ah, ha, ha. What a splendid show of force. Expands. Attack grows defense and speed. That's, uh, bizarre. Dull attack. Damn. Why are we beating Pluto, though? That's my question. Just like attack.
Yeah, there we go. He goes down. The Morris party was victorious. That's a lot of XP and that's a lot of clams. My god. Bread slice. Okay, so Mori is going to learn real life skills. That's obvious. Which is... Having stab as a skill uh, makes it a bit sad. A bit? I mean, I like a lot more. But bread slice. Yeah, we, we learned bread slice. Hmm. Not bad. Where did Pluto go? Hello? Why? why? He just disappeared. My god. Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Sorry to bother you, but I have you seen my son anywhere? Looked away for less than a second and he's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me, huh? Alright, well, we have to find this person's son. Oh crap, I forgot my camera at home. What's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? The experience? You're a centaur? I'm small, the world's small centaur. Look at all my awards. That's a lot of awards, you're right. Alright, so this is more the open world kind of zone. We're gonna go back to city. Uh, is, yeah, city. City. Uh, city, I mean. Uh, and check out what's on here. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a, a recent boom in tourism, it started to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. Alright, we'll do. What is this, a Hatsune Miku fan? No, they won't look like that. Hi, I'm Pessy. As And as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I got Sweetheart posters, fi posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire disco disc discography and anything else you can think of. I'm certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Call me a super fan if that it... Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. You ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to play pay for her meal, but I just bought a newly released sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like sweethearts anyway. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for sweetheart. I feel like I lost brain cells talking to that person. Obnoxious looking person. Yeah, I'm not sure an obnoxious sounding song, yeah. I would agree with you. Even the house is uh, oh god, I hate You got can. I picked up trash. Or what if what even is a can used for? Can. Give it to a recycle machine for five clams. Man, are you a recycle machine? No, you're Ferris. Damn. This is the recycle machine. I like that music. It really reminds me of Earthbound. Thank you. Who are you? The recycling machine just gave me a cool prize for recycling some cans. The recycling does pay off. I'm happy to hear that. Are you a little monkey? Laramie, a band of space pirates have been camping out here for a long time now. Either the captain suddenly decided that he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took his ship and left. That's... alright. Yeah, I mean, he's no longer the captain. Hold, oh, children. You are now entering the vicinity of the captain of the space pirates. The master of the solar system, the prince of the universe, the one and only captain space... I mean, uh... You're entering the house of space boyfriends. Oh, the captain of the space pirates lives there? That's awesome. I wanna be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, uh, so did I once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. There's just us stra uh, stragglers here doing all the space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Just today, me and the guys spend the day cleaning and throwing all away, uh, we're throwing away all of his trash. <sighs> I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try, you never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's see him already. Sorry about that, but sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to the bird first. Squawk. Things have been boring around here ever since Cap... Space... I mean... Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. I mean... Look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain's ship. Captain Pinkbeard would never have approved of this. Ah, the view here is spectacular. Happy to know. So... Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Oh, does it? Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she uh, stopped coming around. Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the Captain. Space Boyfriend... Uh, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Yeah. This guy's sleeping. Can we play the MIDI keyboard? It's obviously, obviously not a good skill that you have, but hey, you can at least play notes. There's a cassette tape inside it. Hmm. Telescope. <laughs> Uh-oh. Captain Space... I mean Space Boyfriend's... The Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Kel. What? <laughs> My precious sweetheart. No, oh, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. <laughs> oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. Huh? Why isn't it playing anything? Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse. He's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown it away as special mixtape when we were cleaning. It's a big deal, it's just like I said, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. Ah. <sighs> if base Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of Space Pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We have to sh we should help him out. You know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, my perfect goddess. <laughs> my sweet jellyfill donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Omori? Should we help him? Yeah. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. We got junkyard key. This key unlocks the junkyard. The special mix day should be somewhere in there. Huh? You can get there through the secret entrance to the Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Yeah, sure, if you say so. Oh wow, uh, it actually is pretty convenient. The Earth looks peaceful. Would you like to start bit? No. Where's Pluto? Oh. Hey, Pluto isn't there. Oh. We've really done it now, dude. 
Well, the captain won't be too mad when you tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know when he gets, you know how he gets when, when you, you know how he is when he gets angry. But you're not supposed to call him captain anymore. You have to call him space boyfriend. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ah. Uh, you know, dude. Sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, and we haven't done anything cool. We just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life? What is life for if not the space pirate life? I'm sure that captain will come with us. Uh, will come to his senses one day, and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe him. Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. So didn't we get Pluto back? No, we didn't get Pluto back. I can only disturb Earth, you're telling me. Should I? I don't think I should. I'll try, I guess. I'll save before I do it, though. So I'm scared, you say. Oh, well, actually... Oh, this is an enemy. Wormhole. I get it. I get it. Didn't catch, man. Now you're sad. Huh. You missed? Huh, angry. Thirty-two, that's a lot. Angry too, bro. That's nice. Cause we can do more damage that way. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't one hit. Okay. Eighteen clams. Where's this junkyard though? Oh, item. Backpack. Ooh. My good man. I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Is the junkyard this way? Oh yeah, it is. Junkyard key. That's nice. Man, it's filled here. Junkyard. Why do I have a keys meter in the top right? Also, why does this sound somewhat like Rocket League music? Not complaining, but you know, granola bar. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, we can cut those. Okay. Yeah, sure. I would have guessed so too. Rubber bands. What's that item? Gold watch. All right. We'll find a lot of stuff here, I guess. So this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. What are we looking for again? Space Boyfriend's Specials Mixtape. Mixtape. Right out. Hey, look, I found a can. You got a can. Uh, I guess that's the start. It's up here. Glass bottle. Mm, it's a bit different than cans. I'm not gonna fight a boombox, okay? Air horn. Can I get that without it, like, coming to attack me? I think I have to fight it, though. Yeah. Piece of tofu. No. Oh, damn. Mixtape. Well, it's not the special mixtape, but it's a mixtape. What is that? Speed fell. Oh. That's fine. He has a lot of speed anyway. Oh, it's almost dead. Things are so easy. That did a lot of damage. Let me say that. Goodbye, mixtape. Actually, I don't think we're gonna get a save point nearby, so I'm, I think I'm thinking I might go back and save there. You know, just so I have a save there. Yeah, I think I just might do that.
Hey, junkyard. Go over here. Yeah, get dodged. Get dodged. Get absolutely dodged. Is Pluto gonna be like somewhere else and we have to beat him multiple times in order to like come and make him come back here? I feel like that's the case. I hope the captain feels better soon. Sure hope so too. Once we find find that special mixtape, you know? Let's recycle. Can. I love this. It's the most mundane thing ever, and it takes forever, but it's so lovely. Thank you. It is pretty good music, too. Nice. Ten clams, that's a bit more. Cardboard. And one more time, come on. I can, like, just imagine an earthbound uh, zone, like, in an enclosed area, you know, like a house with some weird monsters or something. It just has that music. It, it just, like, it's such a great fit. It's just earthbound music, in short. I mean, a lot of music is earthbound music unintentionally, but you know what I mean when I say earthbound music. It's intentional. Um, Alright, let's, uh... Do we have a side quest for getting Pluto back? Ducky Jr. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's, um, heal up. And then let's save. There we go. Well, in case you haven't noticed, we have reached the end of the episode. I sure hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. I absolutely hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow.